Good morning, Barrow Buddies. This is the week of March 8th through March 15th. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge your allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's check in with our special reporters to learn about this week in history and some tips for being a Barrow Buddy. This week in history, on March 11, 1997, Paul McCartney, a former member of the most successful rock band in history, the Beatles, was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II for his services to music. The 54-year-old lad from Liverpool became Sir Paul in a centuries-old grand ceremony at Buckingham Palace in central London. Fans waited outside in a similar in a scene similar to Beatlemania of the 1960s. Crowds screamed as McCartney swept through the gates in his chauffeur-driven limousine, and he answered with a thumbs up. Celebrations this week. March 8th, Commonwealth Day. March 9th, National Meatball Day. March 10th, Mario Day. March 11th, National Proposal Day. March 12th, National Girl Scout Day. March 13th, National Canine Veterans Day. And March 14th, National Potato Chip Day. Buddies are brave. This week, we're focusing on the letter E. E stands for engaged. One way we can be engaged is by staying on task and participating. I am excited to share with you that uh, we are once again participating in Books for Keeps at our school. Books for Keeps is a chance for you in every grade level, every student at Barrow gets to choose 12 books uh, for summer reading. And these books are free and they are yours to keep. It's not the end of the year, but we are already going to start selecting our Books for Keeps books. So this week and next week, we'll be working with you either virtually or in person to help you choose your Books for Keeps books. And then they will be delivered to our school at the end of the year, just in time for you to enjoy for summer. So I can't wait to see what books you choose. And here's Dr. Sabatini with the principal's update. Good morning, Vera Buddies. Welcome back to another week of school. Um, we had a wonderful week last week with our pre-K through second graders who were here in person and everyone did a wonderful job following all of our safety rules. It was great to see so many students here at Barrow and we look forward to just a week away when our third through fifth graders rejoin us too. So um, I want to shout out some classes that had really great attendance and our attendance is improving each week, which is awesome. Both in-person classes and virtual classes are having better attendance. Um, so I'm proud of you all for um, attending school and getting um, focusing on your work. So in kindergarten, Ms. Clark's class had more than two days of perfect attendance. In first grade, Ms. Rivard's class, Ms. Ginner's class, Ms. Wiz's class, and Ms. Bowling's class. So that's awesome. In second grade, Ms. Drake and Ms. Boyle's class. In fourth grade, Ms. McCullum's class. And in fifth grade, Ms. Hinkle and Ms. Boland's class. And Tuesday was our best day of attendance. Attendance last week, we had 13 classes that had perfect attendance on Tuesday. So let's try to break that record. I'm going to keep track of it and see if we can have more classes with perfect attendance than 13. That's amazing. Um, the calendar for next week, for this week, sorry, we have a shorter week this week. So we just have school in person for pre K through second on Monday and Tuesday. Everyone will be virtual on Wednesday. And then we have a little holiday break on Thursday and Friday. So that will be a little bit of a shorter week this week. Um, and then I just wanna talk um, to students who are here in person, our pre-K through second graders. I mentioned you all done such a good job coming into school safely, wearing your mask and your temperature take, taken, keeping distance in the hallway. Um, the one area I wanna talk about is the cafeteria because it's always a really hard place because you're allowed to take your mask off while you're eating. And I just wanna make sure that everyone is following our directions and being safe. Um, we want everyone to stay healthy and be safe so we can keep school open. So students, these are just some reminders about our rules in the cafeteria. 
The most important one is that when you get to your seat, you need to stay in your seat for the whole lunch time. So do not get up out of your chair to throw trash away, to talk to a friend, to go find a teacher. We really need you to stay in your seat the whole time. And if you need help, we want you to raise your hand and a grown up will come and help you. It's really important that you not share food in the cafeteria, just eat what's on your tray or in your lunch box. We can't have any students sharing food across the table. We also want you just to talk to the people that are at your table, which really just means the person closest to you because we only have four people at a table. Um, we're having a lot of students who are turning around and talking to people at tables that are far away. Um, and that is not a safe thing to do. So make sure that you're talking just to the people at your table. And then at the end of the lunch period, one of your teachers will bring a trash can around for you to throw your trash away. And that's when you need to be done and just throw your trash away right away. It doesn't mean you finish your sandwich or you drink the rest of your milk. It means it's time to go and you need to throw your trash away. So those are kind of our rules for the cafeteria. We wanna make sure everybody is safe um, and enjoying their time. The other thing is when you're done with lunch, you can put your mask back on and that way we know that's a safer um, area around you. So keep your mask on after you're done with eating your lunch and um, that will be some of our cafeteria rules. All right, let's take a look at birthdays this week. Happy birthday to John and Mize, Medea Bove, Mason, Marshall, Terrell Meadows, and Lysandra Pettis. And some shout outs, Ms. Freeman wants to give a shout out to valued members of our class. These people are always willing to participate in our discussions and add so much to our class community. A big shout out to Kiran, Ali, Davis, Amari, and Anna. You are always ready with a valuable thought. I also wanna give a shout out to Tristan for writing an amazing opinion speech. He believes that we should stop littering because it is bad for animals. Ms. Garrett and Ms. Audemont would like to give a shout out to Antonio for always greeting and sending encouraging words to others. Caden for greeting and listening carefully to others. Others and Anna for leading classmates to become to make everyone feel welcome. Thanks for being so valuable buddies. Ms. Pascal wants to give a huge shout out to Raekwon, Miriam, Aiden, Charlie, Kaya, Kensley, and Poppy, who correctly identified the theme of a fiction text and supported their answers with details from the text. Not only that, they got every question right on the trivia that we did about the book. They should be so proud of themselves for being such great achievers. Ms. Selig wants to give a shout out to Yasir, Trey, Lucas, Wright, and Hudson for being bold throughout the day and participating well in every subject. Thanks for being so engaged. Ms. Hinkle would like to give a shout out to all her brave fifth graders for being leaders and working hard to make everyone feel valuable during virtual learning. Thank you to Jay for putting his best effort into all of his assignments, to Miguel and Willow for always being so bold and willing to participate and to Jasper for inspiring us all with his amazing video on the Great Depression. I'm grateful for all of my valuable buddies. Ms. Olin sends some cyber shout outs to the following students, Gabriel and Tanner for both paying close attention during math and showing their work step-by-step step, just as we modeled in the mini lesson. Also shout outs to Isaiah and Bess for putting value into their learning by spending extra time after class to go over work. Way to go. Hope you all have a great week at Bear School. Before we leave, let's say our bearer on a code together. As a bearer buddy, I promise to be fair, honest, and trustworthy, even when no one is looking, because that is the right thing to do. My good choices will help make Barrow excellent. We will now observe a moment of silence before we begin to focus all of our attention on thinking, learning, and working at Barrow School. Have a great day. <laughs>